someone who knows Madiba very, very well. And earlier I asked him, Mr. George Bezos, thank you so much for your time. Earlier today I asked you, how have you spent Madiba's birthday in the past when he hasn't been in hospital? Um, members of my family and I would visit the house. There would invariably be a party, marquee, and uh, invariably our uh, birthday present uh, would be a collection of Greek cookies. Uh, I kept up with the tradition. I went to the house earlier this morning with a package. Uh, and uh, I handed it over to members of staff. Mrs. Marshall was not there, was already in hospital. And I was assured that it would get to the hospital, uh, not only for him, but for the people looking after him. Does Mr. Mandela like Greek cookies? Oh, very much. Uh, he, uh, he did uh, enjoy them, and he enjoyed Greek food coming to us uh, from time to time and particularly we spent two weeks uh, together in Greece uh, uh, and uh, he enjoyed the uh, the Greek food and uh, in fact uh, the chef of the uh, hotel we were staying in by the sea came and greeted Mr. Mandela and said, is there any spe special dish that you really like? And he said, yeah, yes, uh, chicken livers. Can you please do that? <laughs> and the chef produced a big platter for the whole uh, group of us uh, the, next, uh, the next day. He was very pleased with it. Mr. Bezos, you must be heartened by the news uh, coming from the presidency that uh, Mr. Mandela's condition is, in fact, uh, improving. Yes, I was very pleased to hear what uh, his daughter Zinzi had to say and uh, particularly pleased with the confirmation by the presidency that he's improving. And uh, I want to say that uh, he has always been optimistic. His optimism, uh, I think, will see him through this episode and uh, I look forward uh, to visiting him at home in the near future. So much praise uh, for uh, the former president today, his birthday, 95 years. Um, but you also want to say, uh, to react to some of the negatives uh, that uh, certain other world leaders uh, have been uh, putting out there in the, in the, in the recent past, including uh, Zimbabwe's president, Robert Mugabe, calling uh, Mandela too much of a saint. What do you have to say about that? Well, I don't think that we need any advice from Mr. Mugabe relating to Mr. Mandela or many other issues. Mr. Mandela himself categorically said that he did not want to be considered a saint or a Moses or indispensable. He never used the word I, invariably we. He was a Democrat. Uh, he didn't want uh, to uh, say anything which would indicate that it was his personal opinion and that would become an order. He was a person who consulted the people around him, more particularly the tie that I'm wearing this morning, uh, from, given to me by the university, named after uh, uh, Walter Sasulu, was the wise man of the struggle. Uh, Nelson Mandela would consult him on any important, difficult issue that had to be decided. He was a Democrat to the heart. And um, he will be remembered as the reconciliator, the teacher, not only for the benefit of the people of South Africa, the benefit of the people of Africa and indeed the world. He must be v very pleased that on this day the whole world uh, wishes him me. well, <laughs> wishes him well and praises him to the sky. 
It is a divided world. I don't know of any other human being who has been uh, universally acclaimed by the people of the world at large. And uh, I think that we in South Africa uh, believe in, in him and try and fulfill his vision of what South Africa should look like. Many thanks, uh, Mr. Vizos. We really do appreciate your time. Gareth, a number of uh, very important people, people who knew Mandela uh, personally, are stopping by uh, here at the Nelson Mandela Foundation today and expressing such heartfelt words, really a very warming occasion for, for Madiba's 95th birthday. Robin, if I'm not mistaken, just before we say goodbye to you, I'm losing my eyesight at, at the age of 30, but I'm sure over your right-hand shoulder is Tokyo Sekhwale answering telephones. Am I right? Indeed, uh, Tokyo Sukwale uh, has, it would appear, a new job. Um, <laughs> he's uh, answering phones at the moment. I'm not sure who he's speaking to. He's, uh, in fact, doing, he, he arrived uh, earlier today and he is doing his 67 minutes of service here at the Nelson uh, Mandela Foundation. I hope you're working on your telephone etiquette, Mr. Sukwale. Well, uh, just hold on, please. <laughs> this is um, called answering for Mandela. So he's lying on his back, and we hope he recuperates. But, uh, you know, there should be people who should talk for him. And the public is out there calling. So this is my six, seven minutes, yeah. Many thanks. Uh, Tokyo Sukhwale, a fellow struggle a veteran with Mr. Nelson Mandela. Gareth, back to you in studio. <laughs> Shame, I'm sure. He was very polite as well to the person on the line. Robin, thank you very much. Very polite. News that moves. ENCA.com.